Ling the Aulani character tune finder, come sing a tune with Olu Mel and his pal, Duffy, at 9 o'clock a.m. All right, so this morning we're going down and we're meeting Olu Mel. He's my favorite, so I'm so excited. And then after that, I think we're going to go on maybe like a hike or check out a beach. But we are going to go check out Waikiki for the first time. And we might stop over at Pearl Harbor too. So we're gonna head downstairs now, go meet Olu Mel, and then do a little bit more exploring on Oahu, see some things we haven't seen yet. Oh my gosh, there they are. They are so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with him. He's so cute. Hello guys. We thought we heard somebody playing the guitar off in the distance. <laughs> we heard it. Oh, we're so happy to meet you guys. We're so uh, and Duffy, you. we miss you over at Walt Disney World. You haven't yeah. been at Epcot in a long time. We miss you there. <laughs> we always look for you. Oh, <laughs> you're my favorite. I'm so happy to meet you. <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> we're so happy we met them. I know. If they're meeting again, we're like going to come back. Oh, 100%. Again. Yeah. We're like two they big kids. They were like my favorite. <laughs> that was so awesome. We finally got to meet Olu Mel and Duffy, who we haven't seen in a while. Used to be at Walt Disney World, but Unfortunately, it is no longer, but Olu, Olu Mel was amazing. I wish we could give him a hug, but really, really cool to meet him, especially because this is the only place where you can meet Olu Mel. So our first stop today brings us to the Pearl Harbor historic sites. We're going to check out the Pearl Harbor Memorial because it is something that you should definitely do when you're here in Hawaii. I'm a history buff, so I'm excited to check out the memorial and, and see the sites. And here's a look at some of the historic sites you can see. You can see the USS Arizona, the USS Bofin submarine, the battleship Missouri, and then the Pacific Aviation Museum here at Pearl Harbor. At dawn on December 7, 1941, more than half of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, approximately 150 vessels and service craft, lay at anchor alongside piers in Pearl Harbor. All but one of the Pacific Fleet's battleships were in port that morning. And of course, that was the horrific day where one of the worst attacks in American history took place right here at Pearl Harbor. It says here that this exhibit lists persons, military, and civilians who died as a result of the attack or were killed later that day in the performance of their duties. And all throughout over here, there's all these different plaques commemorating all of those who passed away on December 7th, 1941, during the attack of Pearl Harbor. It is extremely moving to be here and to just be standing on the edges of Pearl Harbor. It's something that you read about in school. You know, everybody learned about Pearl Harbor when you were in history class growing up, or maybe you've seen the movie that was really popular, but to actually like, be here and just think about like what happened that day, it's, it's kind of surreal. This is definitely like a, a moving experience for sure. So now we are making our way over to a little shuttle ship and we are gonna head over and check out the USS Arizona Memorial. USS Arizona Memorial, you can actually see parts of the sunken ship that are still visible above water. Just straight ahead, right in the middle of your screen, that buoy marks the front of the ship, 
And then this right here is the remains of the base of a gun turret here on the USS Arizona. And here's some more of the USS Arizona, visible from just over the ledge here. Wow. So we came to deck. It's on the third floor of the Queen Kapiolani Hotel and it's actually so beautiful. We're sitting outside and we have a perfect view of Diamond Head from here. Um, they actually serve like brunch and um, small lunch options too. So we're gonna see what's on the menu and have a bite to eat. So the amazing Hawaiian food tour continues. We're here at deck like Alex said and I got the Loco Moco. Definitely curious to see how this compares to Kihei Cafe. And then Alex got the deck burger and upgraded to truffle fries. I also got a mocktail, no alcohol in it. It's um, called the Plantation Iced Tea. And I believe it has iced tea, pineapple juice, and like a coconut syrup. I yeah. think it was. Oh my god, it's so good. Very refreshing too. Deck has some great views over here. You got Diamond Head off in the distance. We're going to be hiking Diamond Head in just a couple of days. Pretty excited to get to the top and see all those beautiful views. By the way, our rental car that we got is a convertible and it is super cool. I've never driven a convertible before. This is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet to see uh, Hawaii this way, that's for sure. down over in Waikiki now checking out all the shopping that's over here there's a lot of really really nice stores yeah high-end stores over here for sure yeah we passed a bunch we're gonna um, go on the other side of the street and check some of them out when you say check them out you mean we're just gonna window shop window them. shop yes that's <laughs> we what better I be so we're gonna be passing like Fendi and like Salvatore Ferragamo yeah we're just gonna window shop <laughs> This is more my speed right here, the Honolulu Cookie Company. There are a lot of stores over here on this little strip. We're making our way back down this way, and I think we're gonna walk over towards Waikiki Beach. Haven't checked out Waikiki Beach yet, but we're gonna make our way there now. So where we came from, all those stores reminded me a lot of like Fifth Avenue in New York City, but just obviously more with like a, like a tropical twist to it. Lots of palm trees, really, really nice looking stores. Yeah, reminded me a lot of Fifth Avenue. Here we are, made it over to Waikiki Beach, one of the most famous beaches here on Hawaii. Looks like they got some pretty big surf out there. There's a lot of people surfing. Here is the famous statue of Duke Kaoa Kahanamono. And apparently, he was a very famous surfer. some big waves over there. Yeah, no wonder why all the surfers come here. Yeah, there's like surf schools and you can get like lessons over here. There's so, it seems like everybody's surfing. Like if you look in the water, there's like hundreds of surfers out I there. know, and I feel like everyone here is a local too. I feel oh, like we're yeah. the only tourists right now. No, definitely not. <laughs> Waikiki Beach and just Waikiki in general, really good for people watching if you're into people watching. Oh yeah. There's some characters out here for sure. Leonard's Bakery. This is a famous great bakery where they're known for their malasadas, which is um, Portuguese donuts. 
So there's uh, the original ones that have like different um, sugar on the outside and then they also have the puffs with different filling. So we're gonna get a few different kinds and try them out. All right, we got our Leonard's. We got six malasadas, an original, a cinnamon, a lihing, which is like sweet and sour, a guava, a macadamia, and a haupia. Let's get the grand reveal. You ready? Ready. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Good. And they always come out hot. Wow. Oh, okay. they're warm. Oh, they look good. They smell good. I can see the guava one right there. The macadamia, the coconut. Oh my gosh. I think we're going to try the original first. Whoa, they're so hot. <laughs> and they're like fluffy. Oh, they look so good. All right. Oh. Ready? I'm ready. Let's see. Mm. Take a look at that inside right there. It looks so super good. fluffy. Yeah. They're light and fluffy. This one just has the original sugar on the outside. Oh my God. It's so good because it's warm too. They're like freshly made. You know what they almost taste like? If you're Italian and you know what a Zeppoli is, they almost kind of taste like Zeppolis a little bit. They're really, really good. It's got nice sugar on the outside. Super warm. Excellent. I'm excited to try the other flavors. What about the, the sweet and sour one? Okay. That one looks interesting. That's interesting. I don't know how to describe, I mean, it's sweet and sour, but it's like, it's interesting because it's on like a donut, like fried bread. I like it. At first I couldn't tell if I liked it or not, but it's good. It's good, yeah. Yeah, I tried the sweet and sour one. It's decent, it's just like not really what I like in a donut. So I'm personally not a fan of that one, but Alex liked it. Now we gotta try the guava. Oh wow, look at that right there. So far I've really liked a lot of the guava things that we've had on this trip. And it's funny because like the mainland is like we don't have like guava stuff really. no not really but it's big here in hawaii so this is really good all right i'm gonna try the guava one like alex said i like a lot of the guava things that we've had on this trip so far so i'm excited to try this let's see that is really good that's a an excellent start to the ones that have the filling in it so next we're going to try up the the halpia which is coconut and then the uh i forget what the other one was macadamia macadamia nut good one i like this one a lot all right, so next up, we're gonna try one of these. There's two that have like a white cream. So I don't know which one's coconut or the halpia and which one's macadamia nut, but we're going to find out because we're gonna bite into both of them. So let's see. Pretty sure that's the macadamia nut. Doesn't taste very coconutty. So I'm gonna say that this is the macadamia nut. It's decent. So far, the guava and the original are in the lead for me at least. All right, and now let's, let's try the other one while we're at it. And then we'll let Alex give these a try. That one's solid. I like that one a lot. Um, so my top three, and we still have one more to try, but my top three so far is the original number one, the guava number two, and then the coconut number three. I like that a lot. So I took a bite of the cinnamon sugar one. This one's really good too for the originals or like the ones that aren't filled. The original with the sugar and the cinnamon sugar are definitely my top two. Those are really good. The sweet and sour, like I said, if you're looking for something different, get that one. But if you want to stick to like the basics, the original and the cinnamon sugar are the way to go. I also wanted to mention to you guys, we got half a dozen malasadas, which is six, for about $10 and change. And that's why we kind of got like all different flavors so we could try them out for you guys. But $10 and change for six of them, and they're like a good size, they're like this big. Um, really worth the money. Yeah, definitely worth the money, and we really liked Leonard. So if you guys are looking for a bakery style option, a dessert type of treat to try, we definitely recommend you guys check out Leonard's. Really, really good stuff here. So we are back in Waikiki now. We are having dinner tonight at Duke's, which is a very well-known restaurant over here in Waikiki. Heard really, really good things, but I feel like all we're doing today is eating. I'm so full. Don't you feel like all we're doing today is eating? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad though that we came down to Waikiki because we haven't been here before and we kind of like explored it all day. So yeah, it's we got been to nice. see pretty much everything. Yeah. At least, you know, in this general area. Yeah. And we'll be back to do like Diamond Head and maybe another couple of hikes or, or two, but yeah. Yeah. If I don't die. So there is Duke. That is the guy whose statue we showed you outside before. And according to Alex, well-known surfer. I personally haven't heard of him, but I'm also not into surfing culture, but we're gonna eat at his restaurant tonight. <laughs> So 
just sat down here at Duke's. We have an awesome table with the water right in front of us. It's a really, really cool restaurant. I like the vibe in here a lot. Okay, so I opted for another non-alcoholic drink today, but this is a Pog slushy. So it's the passion orange guava juice in slushy form. Oh my god, that's so good. So we got the coconut shrimp as our appetizer, and it is really, really, really good. This is like probably one of the best coconut shrimps I've ever had. It comes with a dipping sauce, which is uh, little koi chili water. Really good. It's like almost like sweet and sour sauce, but a little bit more watery. It has more of a kick at the end. I had a few pieces of just the shrimp on its own, and it's good even without the dipping sauce. Like perfectly cooked. The batter on the outside is really good. This is a, a good start to the to the meal here. And we are here at a perfect time for dinner because pretty soon the sun's gonna be setting and we get to watch it set right here at Duke's. So now it's time for our entrees. I got the Huli Huli Chicken, which is a very, very popular dish here on Hawaii. Looks really, really good. And I got the mac nut and herb crusted fish. It comes with some jasmine rice as well. Looks really good, I'm excited to try it. So the sun has officially set and we had a really good dinner here at Duke's, did we not? It was so good, it was delicious, and the atmosphere is amazing. We saw the sunset, it was beautiful, and our waitress just said that she's gonna bring us a piece of hula pie for free for our honeymoon, and that is like the well-known thing here. It's supposedly amazing. We saw another couple get it, it's like a massive piece of cake. <laughs> But it's not cake, it's actually ice cream, she said. So we're gonna give it a try. We'll show you guys when it gets here. And here is the hula pie that they brought to us, our server brought to us here from Duke's. Holy moly, this is like one of the biggest pieces of cake I've ever seen. And she said she was gonna bring us a small piece. This is huge. So we just finished our dinner over at Duke's and it was really, really good. My chicken was awesome. You really liked your fish. Yeah, it was really good. And then the coconut shrimp was really good too, but the winner out of everything was that hula pie. Oh, that was fantastic. I was so full by the end of it that I couldn't eat as much as I wanted to, but it was delicious the few bites that I did have. They give you a massive piece too. It was so like, big. So big. And it was so nice that our server gave it to us for our honeymoon for yeah. free. So thank you. Yeah, we had ourselves a pretty good foodie day. We went over to Leonard's too and tried the uh, malasadas, which yeah. were excellent. Definitely recommend you guys going to check those out mm -hmm. if you're over here on Oahu. But just a fun day overall. I mean, it was awesome to go to Pearl Harbor. That yeah. was uh, probably the highlight of the day for me. That was a very moving experience. Really, really great to see the memorial and then just to be there, like like I said before, everything you read about like in school and in like the history books, and then to actually be standing there was was pretty pretty wild. But yeah. it was a fun day. Yeah, and I'm glad that we came and checked out Waikiki. It was our first time here. We got to see the beach. We ate at a few different places. It was really nice to walk around. We had a good day. Yeah, it was a good day. So if you guys enjoyed coming along with us, make sure you give the video a nice big thumbs up. If you guys are new here, hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of our Hawaii videos to come. And with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon. Oh, 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 oh,